and Patty from Thornatiska. I want to talk to you today about Newton's laws. Okay, I know that you get exposed to Newton's laws even whenever you're young and in middle school, and then by the time you get up to high school, it's like Newton's laws, this is so boring. Okay, but um, anyway, the, Newton, he came up with, um, you know, the law of inertia. And so inertia, I like to tell my kids, is that in order for something to move, there has to be a force to make it move. Like, I don't want to get up from my couch. There has to be a reason for me to get up from my couch. And, um, you know, force equals mass times acceleration. You know, the more um, acceleration that's applied to me, the more force I'm going to have. And then this third one here is something that we all memorize and we can all say is that the Newton's third law is equal and opposite. Every reaction has an equal and an opposite um, action, reaction pairs, but it's kind of hard to understand. So it's one of those things that's easy to write down on a test, but a little bit difficult to understand. So we're going to do something really simple and fun to um, exhibit Newton's laws and to make sure that you do understand it. And you can tell your teacher you understand it by giving some uh, examples here. So what you're going to need is a straw, and we're going to cut our straw in a little piece. We just need a piece of it. And you're going to need some tape a balloon, because balloons are awesome, and you're going to need some type of rope or line or ribbon, something like that. And what we're going to do is we're going to have these little balloon races. But we're going to be able to use this balloon race to give examples of each one of Newton's laws. So it's really cool. Now, I want to get my materials together, because you know that once you blow balloons up, they like to come unblown. So while you're at home, you could experiment with this by making different, um, you know, different attachments on here to make it more aerodynamic. You can explore with different shapes of balloons, with different, um, all kinds of different uh, amounts of air that's in there. You could take this and just do something fun with it or you can really get complicated with it. It just depends on um, how much you know you want to do. Okay now important that I have a straw. I'm going to tape my straw down. Here's another thing you can play with is where's the best place to tape your straw? Should it be in the front? Should it be in the back? So there's all kinds of variations that you can do. Now, I'm going to take my balloon, I'm going to put my string, my rope, whatever, through my straw, and you'll notice that right now it's not doing anything. That's Newton's first law, the property of inertia. There's nothing that's making it do anything. Now, let's take a look at Newton's second law, and that is force equals the mass times the acceleration. And as you can see, on our balloon right here, on the inside, we have the air that is all of this force. It's creating all of this force that's blowing the balloon up. These little air molecules are going bang, 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 bang against the sides of the balloon. And so the balloon is getting bigger, but the air is not really going anywhere. But now look what happens if I release this. It goes somewhere. So now we've got an example of Newton's third law, which is the one that's kind of hard to understand. And it's also an example um, it helps us to explain that second one, force equals mass times acceleration. So the, what was happening is we had the air inside the balloon and all the forces were going against the side and were making that balloon get bigger and bigger. Now, when we let the air out, the forces of the air were going in this direction. But what direction did our balloon go in? Our balloon went in this direction. And that's where that equal and opposite comes in. Okay, so Newton's third laws are 
uh, action-reaction pairs. So our action, when we let go of that balloon, was that the force went this way. The reaction was that the balloon went this way. So I challenge you when you're at home to see who can get your balloon to go the highest, who can get it to go the farthest, who can get it to go the fastest. What's the best balloon style you can come up with? Think like an astronaut or an engineer. How can you get that balloon to go as high as you can without as much air resistance? Can you come up with something aerodynamic? Most of all, have fun with it. Thank you.